Hey, good morning guys, and welcome to day three of our fourth week of the Psalms morning devotional. And super excited about this this morning because what we're doing is we're jumping into the response to what we talked about yesterday about how God does not allow people who are evil to stand in his presence. And I mean, if I had a house and I had the opportunity to have someone who is evil and violent and angry, or I had the choice of someone who is peaceful and perfect, again, none of us are, but I'd probably choose the perfection, right? And so this, as we jump in, is going to be the response to that, is that we sit there and we, we can look at the idea from yesterday. We look at the fact that the people that we may think are really living out life, if they're living in evil, they're living out evil, right? Even if us, if we are living out some evil tendencies within our minds or our flesh, right? That that truly isn't life and that, that doesn't allow us to stand before God. But the good news uh, that we talked about yesterday, and we kind of will jump more into it, is that we have Jesus, the Son of God, who, who God the Father sent on behalf of our sins. And so let's just jump on into Psalms 5, verses 7 through 8. It says, But I, by your great mercy, will come into your house in reverence while I bow down toward your holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness, because my enemies make straight your way before me. Now, I love this, right? Because David is sitting there and right before, if, if we read just the verses from yesterday, and this is why I want you guys to subscribe and tune in every day, because it's, this is literally, this is, this is a, this is writing like in a full, in a full capacity. It's not just one group. Sometimes, like I said, a couple weeks ago, if you take a couple verses and you take them out of context, it could jack everything up, right? So if we leave yesterday and we think, oh, well, who's, who can stand before God? Because we all have some type of evil within us. And again, evil, sin, whatever you want to call it, right? But the beauty right now is that David is writing, because of your great mercy, I will be able to be in your house. I will stand in your house. I will bow before you. And, uh, you know, in the Western culture, the idea of bowing is just kind of a crazy thing. We don't bow before people. But if you look in, you know, our history books, and again, I don't, I don't truthfully know how other places in, in our world are, but there are kings, right? And there are people that I'm sure do bow down before the kings of their land. And the beauty is that God, in his great mercy, as David writes, has allowed him and allows us to come before him and it's not just for a one-time thing it's for eternity and how is this possible well it's possible through Jesus right because in the midst of our our evil in the midst of our sinfulness we have no way to stand before God and that's what that's what we are faced with every single day and that's why we want to choose Jesus every morning. We want to start a day out and saying, Jesus, you are my savior. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for the life. Thank you for the, the healing. Thank you for the, the chains, as people say in the Christian world, that have been broken. Thank you for delivering me from my, 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 my lust, my, my alcoholism, my anger, my violent, uh, my violent actions, my desire to, to rob, my, my desire to kill. I mean, these are all things that some people deal with. We may not all deal with the same things, but it is a battle that we battle with. And it's in our minds. Sometimes it's just in our actions. But what an amazing thing that uh, we have a God who cares enough to be merciful, to show us great mercy so that we could spend eternity with him. And so I just want to encourage you guys with that, that yes, we read yesterday about the idea of how that how God doesn't allow people who are evil to stand before him. But that doesn't mean that it's the end all be all. And we read on, you know, the next two verses and he says, but David says, but God, I will stand before you in your great mercy. And the great mercy is Jesus. And that Jesus came down as a perfect human being. He, he, he was born uh, of a woman, Mary, and he lived a perfect life, one that we were called to live. And then he died and it wasn't the death on the cross that basically was everything, but it's what he goes. After he was you know, put on the cross by the Roman soldiers, that wasn't really it. Sometimes we get confused with that uh, because any human being can kind of take on some of that. But the fact of climbing under the cross wasn't the issue. The fact of when he died, he went down to hell. Jesus went down to hell and received the wrath 
of all of our sins, of all of e all of eternity, uh, that we would that we deserve because of our sinfulness for all of humanity. Jesus took it on on uh, the cross in and then in hell, and then he was redeemed. He was brought back to life and given a new life, and that is the hope that we come to Jesus, and that in God's great mercy. We come to know Jesus and thank Him for being our Savior, thank Him for dying for us, and that there is truthfulness, there is an opportunity to have new life. As Jesus died and was buried and then was raised to, to life again, that us, that we are, we die to ourselves, and that we are raised again in Jesus um, to have a new life. And you know what, guys? This is something that I have to do every day. I, I, I'll be completely honest with you, I still struggle with things in my flesh. And it is on me, you know, we're given free will. It's on me to sit there and say, no, I'm not going to give in to you anymore. And I'm going to sit there and say, Jesus, I need your help. One of my favorite verses, and then we'll, we'll wrap this up, is uh, Philippians 4.13. And it was the first verse I ever heard. And it was from my grandfather. He told me it, but it's in Philippians. And it says, I can do all things through Jesus Christ who gives me strength. And so my hope is guys today that you would remember Jesus and you would thank him and you would know and ask him for help because he will help you and I love you guys and I'm super excited as we're gonna jump into the gospel next week and I'm not sure which one yet but we are going to do it and I look forward to that talking more about Jesus and what he teaches us to do and how to live so I love you guys hope you have an amazing Wednesday and we will see you guys tomorrow morning